What's up guys? Welcome back. Got a new video for you today. We're going to be heading on the highway. What's up guys? Welcome back. We got a new video for you today. We're going to be heading on the highway and hitting a busier roundabout. So let's go. Kind of starting in a parking lot here, so we're gonna work our way out, head onto the highway. Been having some interesting drives on the highway, um, paying attention to the lane changes. So we're gonna see how it does today. I wanna thank you guys for watching. It's been a few days. Appreciate everybody uh, viewing. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. We got a lot of cool things coming up. We're gonna be doing a lot of uh, testing, not just on the road, but other things as well. So subscribe if you want to uh, stay tuned. So we're at a dead stop here at a four way. This is definitely a fail. We got a guy that's uh, on our left here that had to go without us. We're gonna hit the accelerator now, but this was a, this is kind of a weird intersection. Um, it's a three-way intersection giant. So fail right off the bat, but let's keep going. See what we can, see what we can find today. Heading up to uh, some railroad tracks again here. Let's see what it does today. I'm expecting it's gonna stop before the railroad tracks. I had some users comment last time. I'm gonna hit the accelerator and go through as there is no train. Um, I think it's just misreading where the stoplight stop is. Um, and then when I hit the accelerator to go through, I'm not sure if it thinks now that it's a green light. So I'm going to pay attention because last time I hit the accelerator, went over the railroad tracks and then it wanted to run the red light. Cause it, I think it took me hitting the accelerator as a, a signal to, to continue on through the light. So I'm going to be a little cautious here that we don't run a red light, which we did not. That was good. The uh, constantly touching the wheel is annoying. I feel like there's better ways to to judge whether you're paying attention or not that don't involve tugging on, on the wheel, especially feels strange at, at high speeds. Uh, I will say I have sunglasses on right now and I have noticed for whatever reason that it doesn't ask me to tug on the wheel when I've got sunglasses on as much. I don't know if it's tracking your eye movements and if you're looking away from the road that uh, that's when it asks you to engage with the wheel, but for some reason it doesn't ask me to as much when, when I have sunglasses on. So here we are uh, getting onto the highway. It could be accelerating a little more. It's saying the speed limit's 40, that's definitely not the speed limit on the highway. Let's see if I'm gonna have to override to actually get up to speed here. All right, there, just switched to 55. No left turn signal to get onto the highway. I think that would be a, a fail on a driver's ed course. Usually you'll put a left turn signal on as you're merging. So we're just gonna be going for a little while on the highway. Uh, about 1.5 miles here down the highway. Let's see if it changes any lanes. We do have a truck that's stopped off on the right. I think the normal thing to do for a human would be to get over to the left lane right now. Um, we're gonna let it do its thing. I'm gonna actually take over here and manually change to give this truck driver a little more space. And then it's gonna head back on its own. So yeah, I think, uh, I think that could be definitely something programmed in if you have a stop vehicle on the shoulder and you're in the closest lane to it, it'd be a good idea to, to get over. That's a programming change that would that they need to make. So what is that, three fails already? We had uh, right off the bat with the intersection, the railroad tracks, and uh, a little faux pas on the highway. So 0 for 3 on that. We are going 65 miles an hour on the nose. 
we're gonna be exiting up here in about a quarter mile. Uh, there has been some construction at this uh, exit. I'm not really sure the state of affairs right now, so let's check it out. Very wide exit lane. I think this has to do with, uh, maybe has to do with construction. So we're coming in kinda hot here. Made me a little nervous that <laughs> we were gonna just drive straight in that construction zone, but uh, did okay. So yeah, a lot of construction here. It's getting in off onto the shoulder here, not perfect. And this is, as I mentioned, a construction zone, so it's not set up how it would normally be set up. So I'm gonna be extra cautious as we're going through here. But so far so good, no takeovers on that exit. Um, wanting to get into the wrong lane, corrected itself. And that's kind of weird because there's two yellow lines there as they, as they deal with the construction. Just a random jerk to the left there. That was pretty unsettling, almost into oncoming traffic. Yeah, not the smoothest ride today. We're going C minus so far, not great for beta. By the way, if I didn't say I'm running a Model Y 2023 hardware for 11.4.4 uh, full self-driving. We're gonna head into this little shopping area here and uh, hit a roundabout. It's a pretty tight roundabout, usually pretty busy. So we're gonna see how it does. But based on this drive so far, I'm expecting a fail. Nice quick reaction when the light changes. I do appreciate that. Well, that was one thing I was gonna do was change to aggressive. I don't think I'm on aggressive full self-driving right now. All right, so we're coming up to this roundabout, guys. Let's see how it does. This is a busy roundabout, car in the roundabout. Another car on the way to the roundabout. We'll come to a complete stop. Not bad, could be better. A little jerky, but certainly avoided the car, got in when appropriate, exited okay. So not too bad, I give that about a B. Could have been smoother. Nice little shopping area here, another roundabout. Nobody here today, so this is just a nice smooth right turn to our destination, which is a great sushi place. So we're gonna hook a left here and end the video. I wanna thank you guys for joining. Remember, subscribe. We got a lot of cool stuff coming, guys. Uh, we've just been at this for under a week. We're gonna keep going, testing all kinds of stuff. So hopefully you can be along for the journey. All right, take care, guys.